the schism separating alligators from northern algae is the demarcation of weather difference. In movies, poetry, ancient mythology, alligators are characterized in set in swamps with searing heat, where the humidity itself is breathing, bugs crawling from every branch and leaf with Spanish moss, with their antennas frenzied in the steam of the gator's nostrils as they bellow. As the sun is farther away, the other stars in the sky look clearer, and the swamp's temperatures unravel backwards. When the sun shines halfway at midday, and midday is eager to give up into night. When the trees are little more than hooks, and the leaves have embered, the fleet of congregated alligators begin to brumate. Brumation, which comes as natural as scales for reptiles, never mammals, is somewhat an artificial sweetener compared to mammalian hibernation. When alligators brumate, they either mend with mud or water, with patience as the dirt they blend into. They lower their heart rates and metabolisms, even more so than on a summer day. Calories to an alligator are already worth their weight in meat, even when it's snout-peelingly hot. When an alligator has harvested its warmth from the water, or mud, it will then harvest light from the pale shine of the winter sun. The osteoderms on an alligator's back aren't just for making the blood of anything smaller than it bubble like rotten custard. The osteoderms mend with the trying light of winter. The plates of the osteoderms procure the heat that the alligator's insides need like water. This is called basking. This salamander raises a mug of matcha to not just the alligators, but the snakes, turtles, iguanas, bearded dragons, and salamanders that will be brew mating this winter.